Do you need to replace the battery on your BMW but don't want to pay the dealer four, five, or even six hundred dollars? Simple Car Guy here, and today I will show you how to replace, program, and register the 12 volt battery on my BMW Z4 for a fraction of the cost and upgrade it at the same time. Other than the battery location, the process will be the same on most BMWs of the same generation. The actual physical replacement of the battery on this Z4 is extremely easy. All you have to do is open up the trunk, remove this little panel in here. We're going to put that to the side. And now we have access to the battery. So on most BMWs, you'll either find the battery here in the trunk, could be on the side over there, or it could be hidden maybe a little bit further in. And then we could just remove the battery by undoing a few bolts around here. Let me show you how. Every battery I have removed from a BMW has had some kind of brace, and so does this one. So we have to remove these two 13 millimeter bolts first. We can put that to the side. Now we just have to remove the 10 millimeter nuts on both terminals, the negative and the positive. It's fine to use the impact wrenches for removing bolts and nuts, but we would never use it for actually tightening stuff because you will strip threads and stuff like that and that's never good so now i'm just gonna remove the negative first put that out of the way and now we can remove the positive put that up as well give us a little bit of room as you can see my battery has not been installed properly the vent is not connected so that's not really good and also there's a lot of space on the side here but we're going to be fixing that of course with the battery that we're installing now i'm just going to pull it out and get rid of it. If your battery was installed properly, then this will have to be removed before the battery is removed as it will be holding the battery in place. And of course, it's the same 13 millimeter socket. First things first, let's talk about batteries. There are a few things you need to pay attention to. First is the group size, so the size of the battery. This is the H6 battery and this is the H7 battery. So we can clearly tell that this one's smaller and this one is bigger. Depending on your BMW, you may have options of H6, H7, or even H8. So of course, the bigger the battery, the bigger the capacity. So that's the second thing we want to look for. We want to look at the amp hour rating. So this is a 70 amp hour rating battery, and this one is an 80 amp hour battery. So it's a little bit bigger. It's gonna have a little bit more power stored within the battery. Now, the second thing we want to look at is cold cranking amps. So that's basically the power of the battery and how much can it provide at the same time. So this battery has 760 cold cranking amps at zero Fahrenheit, and this one has 850 CCA or cold cranking amps. So as you can see, we're going 90 more cold cranking amps just by upgrading from H6 to H7, plus we're getting 10 more amp hours. So very nice upgrade, especially for vehicles that have convertible roofs that use a lot of energy or you have very cold winters. On this BMW Z4, there are two options that you can code into and that's also important. You have to make sure that you can code the new upgrade into your vehicle. You can have 70 amp hour battery or you can have 80 amp hour battery and you can have the standard or conventional flooded uh, lead acid battery or you can have the AGM. Both of these are AGM so they're just a little bit better, better technology. They don't die as fast basically and things like that. So you want to make sure that your car supports it and if you have questions about that leave your comments below. I'll try to help you. So later in the video we'll be programming the car from 70 amp hour to 80 amp hour and since they're both already AGM I don't need to change the type but you can also do that. So if your car came with a standard 70 amp hour battery you can upgrade it to a uh, AGM 80 amp hour battery and then we can actually program that into a car so it charges it properly. Specifically I went with this Waze AGM battery. Why? Well because it's very good quality, I have good reputation, it was inexpensive, they shipped it to my house and it has a three year warranty. So let's get it installed. I'm gonna put the bracket into the corner here so it's easier to put back in place and it's not gonna be a struggle because my hands might not fit in there with the battery in place. You'll notice that there's actually two positions in here so you can move this bracket to hold the battery in place if you're installing the smaller battery. Now we can stick the battery in there. On the left side you want to push all the way to the left as much as you can. Excellent. So it should be under the little bracket here, here, and then we're gonna secure that one in place. One thing to note, my car did not have the little thing that goes inside of this vent port. 
So I'm gonna be getting that tomorrow and installing it, but make sure you install yours. There's also a vent hole on this side of the battery. So I'm gonna be using the included plug and plug that up. Just put that in. There you go. This battery is not going anywhere. To be very clear, you can fit H6 and H7 group batteries. You cannot fit H8 and install that bracket properly. The rest of the steps here are very simple. We're gonna put this back in its place. Put the wire back in. Connect the positive terminal first. I will not be using an impact wrench or any tools. Just use a, a hand wrench like this. You do not want to strip these. If you're worried, use the torque specs I've put on the screen. Lastly, we're going to put this bracket back in. And that's it. We are done in the back here. Now, the last step is very important because if you skip it, you will kill your new battery very quickly. I'm talking within half a year. If you're simply swapping the battery for the same exact specs, all you have to do is register the battery exchange. That's it. If you are, however, upgrading the battery like I did in this video, you will have to program it as well. So let's start with the simpler one, which is just registering the battery exchange. I'm using this Creator Elite. This is a BMW specific scanner. It's about $149 at the moment. You can get whichever scanner you like, but this one seems to work well for me and it will do both. You can also get Beamer Link or whatever that app is called, but it can only do one of the things. It can program the battery, but it cannot register one. You have to buy a separate app. So I just find using a physical device like this a little bit easier because if you don't upgrade it, the functions will remain basically forever. So I do like that a lot. Well, I'm gonna go to Diagnose right here. We're gonna select BMW. Click OK. So like I said, the first thing we're going to do is just do the coding or registering a battery exchange. After just a couple of seconds, we are presented with this new menu. And here we're going to go to special functions. Click OK. One important thing is that your car is in accessory mode. Otherwise, this coding will not work. At this next menu, we're just going to go to body. Scroll down until we see register battery exchange. Click on that. We're going to hit register battery exchange, which is F2. So I'm gonna hit F2. Once we're at this menu, you might look at these options here and think that you can change the capacity from this screen, but you can't. All you can really do here is register the battery exchange. So what I'm gonna do is hit F2. Yes, because I will be changing the capacity, so higher or lower, we're gonna do, select F2. And then hit continue just a few times. No, this is not an original BMW part. It's gonna write that information to the module. And that's telling us that it's successful, done, done, done. So basically we have registered the battery exchange and it tells us the date and time when that was done. If all you're trying to do is just register the new battery, you are done. But for me, I need to change the capacity as well. So I'm gonna go back, just a couple of steps right here. I'm gonna go to coding and program. You can see all of the vehicles are supported here. We're gonna go to Z series. This is a e E89. We're gonna go to coding and programming. Hit next, then we'll go to retrofit, freedom retrofit, battery change. It's telling us that yes, we have the 70 amp hour AGM battery registered at the moment. Would you like to continue? Yes. And now we can select basically any battery we want. So we can upgrade it all the way to 90 amp hour AGM. And of course you can select non-AGM if you have chosen to install that battery instead. For me though, it's gonna be 80 amp hour AGM. We're gonna hit okay. All right, we're gonna hit okay once again. So it's gonna be modifying the data, correct. I do recommend backing up the module before you start doing any kind of coding. I've already backed that up, so I'm good to go. Now it's gonna be recording that information into our module. As you can see, the screen just reset, and now it says that it's been completed successfully. There you go. I'll go back to battery change just to see what it tells us there you go. So right now the current battery value is 80 amp hour AGM battery. Pretty cool. Well guys, we are all done. The battery is now installed, programmed, coded, and ready to go. How does it start the car? Well, very easily because it has more cold cranking amps. It has more capacity, so it lasts us longer as well. And well, it just works. 
but do make sure you close your battery or otherwise you will have issues in the future anyway on that note thank you very much for watching if you have learned something new or if this video has helped you change your own battery leave me a comment down below like the video and i'll see you in the next one bye